Welcome to these cabbies and vintage toys. Um, can you guys guess what we're going to do today? <laughs> Today's video is going to be on Xavier Roberts Creations. I'm going to show you um, the collection that, that I personally own. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. I'm really excited to do this uh, video today. Um, as you know, I collect Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, I love them all, but I also I collect everything that Xavier Roberts created. Um, I, my main goal is to have a little bit of everything that he created in my collection. And I do have quite a bit. Um, and a lot of you, you know, you hear the name Xavier Roberts, you think of the Cabbage Patch Kids, but I know as collectors we know what he did, but a lot of people don't realize uh, that he created way more than just the Cabbage Patch Kids. We have the Kusas, the fur skins, um, the Pluckets, which were the chickens. Those are really cool. A lot of people don't know about those. Um, Primp and Curl Pets, Patch Puppies, Cuties, um, and, and now on the market we have the Cuties and the Adoptimals. Um, and, you know, this is all his art. He created all of this stuff, and I'm so excited to show you um, you know, section by section what I have in my collection. So this is my Kusa collection. Um, Kusas are a favorite among collectors. They actually came out in the early 80s, a little bit, um, probably about a year or two maybe after the Cabbage Patch Kids hit the mass market. Um, the Kusas came out and collectors still to this day really love them. They came um, as cats, lions, and dogs. I just realized that every single one of mine is a dog. <laughs> I did not even know that before. But they are, and I love them. Um, so I have one girl, the rest are all boys. Um, so these, these three are your average Kusa. These two guys in the middle are um, really unique. They're really neat because they have the eye patch. Now the eye patch Kusas are very sought after uh, by collectors. They're, they're, they're less common. They're a little harder to find. Um, and they're so cute. Look at how cute they are. But this little guy here with the eye patch and the brown hair, he's very special. He's my favorite Kusa because he was a, a an actual birthday present to me from my friend Carly. Thanks again, Carly. I love him. His name is Miko. So these are my Kusas, guys. I hope you like them. I do. They're very cute. My babies. My cabbies. Pets. That's what they are. So here is my fur skin collection. I don't have all of them, but I do have quite a few. These were actually made um, in the between the mid '80s to to the late '80s. Um, they're called the fur skins of Moody Hollow, so that's where they live in Moody Hollow. <laughs> um, I have uh, Hattie, Orval, um, Dudley. I think the little one in the front is Clara. Boom, the the beekeeper. They're just really neat. They all have their own little outfits and personalities and they're a lot of fun. I really like them a lot. So this is Aunt Nadine. She's actually uh, from a series of chickens that Xavier Roberts created called the Pluckets. And as you can see she's wearing her little bonnet. She actually comes with a pipe but um, she, I got her used and I didn't get the pipe with her. But I, I have to read this to you. She only, there's only, um, I only have one of her. But there are others that come in the series. But I have to read the backstory to you. This is just too good. Okay, so on Nadine, she is the smartest Plunkett. But I want to tell you the story of the Plunkets. On an icy Christmas Eve in 1927, a fully loaded chicken truck skidded through the guardrail on the South Carolina side of Route 87. The driver was thrown clear, but the truck and its crated cargo plunged into the fog. That was uh, Nadine and her family. Filled, 
<laughs> they plunged into the fog-filled depths of Gullet Gorge. The wreck was never recovered. However, shortly thereafter, strange stories began to circulate in the region. Local speculation was that many of the plucked poultry somehow survived and in time adapted into an entirely new kind of chicken. Chickens that wore clothes, <laughs> chickens that talked, and chickens that registered to vote to be continued. <laughs> Well, we know she wears clothes. I haven't heard her talk yet. <laughs> and I'm not sure if she's voted yet or not. <laughs> Look at her. you got to get a close-up of her face. She scares my family. <laughs> but I love her. So these are the crimping curl pets. These uh, came out in the early to mid 90s um, they were made by Mattel and they actually went along with the whole Cabbage Patch Kid crimp and curl dolls um, so just like the dolls this is their little hair and it came with little crimpers and you could crimp it and style it um, these are actually little scrunchies around their neck so you could put it in their hair very cute really really cute I only have these two this one's my favorite because pink is my favorite color and these cuties are patch puppies. I love patch puppies. They're so cute. They were made by Play Along um, in the early 2000s. My favorites are the pink and the white one. Of course, pink. I love pink. Um, but they're so cute. And they, they came in, um, I think these were pretty much all the colors that they came in, in this size anyways. Because they did have miniature ones too that came in some of the limited edition play along sets. They actually went in the boxes with kids, um, with, with Cabbage Patch Kids. But the full size ones, I'm pretty sure these are the colors. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Denise would know. Denise, my friend Denise, hi Denise. She loves Patch Puppies. She's actually the person that got me into collecting them. Um, but anyways, I love them. They're so adorable. They're by Play Along. You can find them on eBay. Um, they come with little leashes. And um, just a little something different. I love their faces. They remind me of Cabbage Patch Xavier Creations. They just have that cute Cabbage Patchy face. Look at how cute these are, the ones in the middle. These are the Snugglies. These are from the 25th um, Anniversary Edition. And um, they did a lot of special things for the 25th Anniversary. And this was one of them. So I got three of the little Snugglies here. And it came with a display case. So cute. I love these guys. And over here is... Um, a cutie. I actually got him for my birthday from Nelson and the Boys. They still sell these in the stores. Um, I think I think maybe even someone said Cracker Barrel carries them. But I know uh, Target, Walmart, places like that, and of course Amazon. And then, last but not least, is the Adoptimals. Um, I actually stole this from Elijah's room. <laughs> <laughs> I got it for me, and he loves stuffed animals. He loves animals, so I um he I ended up letting him have her. But she's cute. If you press this, she meows. I'm perfect. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for letting me share my collection of Xavier creations with you. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time. Bye.